growing up as an empath, um, especially as a child, was not easy. Um, I always found that I felt a little bit like an outsider within the school system, my friendship circle. Even growing up as a teenager was not uh, an easy path to go as an empath. I found from a very early age that um, the ability of picking up other people's emotions and feelings, uh, not just people around me, it was people even watching television or listening to the radio, um, you know, or just simply reading a book that had like a sad story inside of it would make me feel really, um, you know, empathic towards the storyline within the book. Um, growing up as an empath, it's um, really hard uh, for anyone um, who has got the ability to pick up on people's emotions and feelings. And um, for myself personally, uh, it isolated me somewhat from uh, everyone around me. Uh, friendships, um, when if I did have a friendship, it never felt like a real friendship. It was always like people were using me for my uh, quality of healing from an early age. Um, I recognized that I had the healing quality inside of me by simply being able to listen to other, uh, other children, people. An empath can pick up pain and suffering uh, from all over the world and it's a connection that we just have. Uh, everyone is an empath but many people don't recognise that they are an empath. I'm also a spiritual mentor, I teach mediumship and a healing. I teach uh, my students to um, embrace themselves first and foremost. Before I do any kind of energy teaching, I make people aware of who they are, which I call uh, the first phase of uh, spiritualism, which we should all be focusing on, which is the awareness, the awareness of self. In my teachings, I believe that if you don't know yourself and you don't know how to heal yourself, how can you understand someone else and heal someone else? So you have to focus on your own personal energy first. Uh, my teachings also uh, take people to a level of uh, self-counseling. A lot of people uh, misunderstand what uh, mediumship and spiritualism and healing work entails. For me it's important that I create an environment for my students where they feel safe and where they feel like they can open up about everything that goes on in their life. Draw your calves, your knees into your thighs. Rising into your pelvic girdle, filling your own Meditation brings in stillness within the physical body and mind, which is so much needed at this moment in time. There's too much stress and worry going on, creating anxiety, especially in young people uh, this day and age, where too much is um, demanded from everyone and the anxiety that is created within society now is not allowing people to just stand still and sit like we used to do when I was younger. We always had a moment where we would just sit with our friends and do nothing. We would just sit in silence and enjoy each other's company because of today's living through modern technology. People forget that the brain is allowed to switch off but not many people do it. My, my personal message to people is everyone should meditate even if it is just for five